Dear friends, welcome to Majid Gore on a YouTube channel. Dear friends, in this video I will teach you to check blood pressure with the help of sphygmal manometer. For this purpose we need a sphygmal manometer. This is a sphygmal manometer. And secondly, we should have a stethoscope. These are the two things we need. First we tie the cuffs to the arm. This is our cuff. We tie it on the arm. Before tying, note that there should not be any kind of cloth on the arm. The arm should be without clothes. However, very thin fabric is acceptable, but it is better not to have anything on the arm. Here I put it. It should be an inch above our elbow. Here I press it with my hand and then I hold it with my own hand. After pressing, I tie it here. Friends, you don't have to tie it too loose nor is it too tight. Look, this is our stethoscope. This is its diaphragm. Place the diaphragm between the two pipes and forward it as it go. You put the stethoscope in your ears. Now I close this valve completely so that no air escapes. Now I will inflate up to 180. After that I will open the valve a little. As soon as I open it, air will start coming out and the needle will start coming back. Then there will be a place where you can hear the sound of my pulse. This will be my systolic blood pressure. It is now your responsibility to pay attention to the sound. As soon as you hear the first thump, see where the needle is at the moment. That's the point you have to note. Was it at 120? Was at 130 or was at 140? The point is to note wherever it is. After that you will keep getting the sound. This will eventually lead to a place where you will stop hearing sound again. This will be my diastolic blood pressure. You need to note the point where the sphygma manometer needle was when you last heard the sound. This will be my diastolic blood pressure. Now I'm putting pressure on 180. After that I will release the pressure. You have to take note of when the sound of the pulse comes to you. Pay attention to your ears. I have closed the valve completely. Now I'm starting to fill the air. Now let me loosen the valve a bit. The first time we heard a throbbing sound at 130, our systolic blood pressure is 130. The last time we heard a throbbing sound at 85, our diastole blood pressure is 85. We tried to explain to you in a very simple way. How successful have we been? You decide. Please like the video if you like it. And to watch more informative videos like this, subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for taking the time. Goodbye.